MLB The Show's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. A good one on tap for you this afternoon between the Texas Rangers and the New York Yankees. The Yanks will try to wrap up the three-game series sweep, and we'll have it for you next. James Paxton gets the ball for the Yankees in this one. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, you take a look at that ERA. That's a little bloated right now. This guy's a better pitcher than that, but he hasn't been real consistent. One good game, one bad game. I think what he needs to do, if he can string together three or four good quality games in a row, that ERA will start creeping back down. He definitely needs to start pitching a lot better than he has up to this point, and it'll be interesting to see if he can turn it around in this one. Underway now in the Sunday finale as the game's first pitch is taken for ball one. Well, this Yankee ball club entering play this afternoon here, they've been pretty much unstoppable the last couple of weeks or so. Winners of nine straight ball games. Matty, you have a chance to win nine ball games in a row. All you're thinking about, first off, everything's going right. All facets of the game are coming together. Team is playing exceptionally well right now. But your eyes on, on that double digits. There's very few teams that rattle off a double digit win streak throughout the course of the year. They have that opportunity today. A little tardy on that swing as it's well wide of first. And a great day for baseball here. 81 degrees at first pitch. And another foul ball. Here's another one too. Fly ball out to right field. Judge is on the move. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. That accepted. The right fielder. Hunter Cole. Stepping in, Hunter Cole, hitless in four tries in the ball game yesterday. First pitch coming, here it is. Off the plate, ball one. Pretty good pitch right there, fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. Now the 1 0. Is swung on and missed in that strike one. Time for a look at the umpires working this one. Behind the plate is Daryl Parker. Hey, not a very big strike zone, but a strike zone that kind of moves around a little bit too much for my liking. Yeah, Dan, I know there's not a clear scouting report with Daryl. I'll tell you what, you're going to know in the first two innings where he's going to be. Ball taken there, two and one now. Now the pitch. That's three and one. Three balls, one strike. The three one. Back up the middle. And that'll find its way into center field for a one out hit. Well, fastball count there yielded fastball mark. Yeah, you drive to the ballpark praying to get in one three one count a night and buy yourself that guaranteed fastball, and he didn't miss it. And prior to the first pitch, you look to first. And a dive, but he's back in there. And here's the former prize Dodger prospect, Willie Calhoun. And this one's in the dirt. And a nice job keeping it close. It's ball one. Cole leads off first with one away. Just a bit high with the fastball, but didn't get the call. Paxton, also known as Big Maple due to his Canadian roots. He's currently on a one-year deal, so he stands to be a free agent at the end of this season. Some guys only get to free agency one time in their career. This guy has a chance to get there for a second time and in the prime of his career. Is he able to handle the pressure as he plays out this final season?
the 2 1 home. Doesn't hit the target. It's ball three. We're seeing a good AB here from the three hole hitter. If he can work a walk or pick up a hit here, he's going to put that cleanup guy in a really good position to do some damage in this first inning. Three and two to the Rangers designated hitter. It's not easy to get your barrel to a pitch that high. That can be an effective location as long as he keeps it above the letters. Working for the punch out and the offering. Oh, and a great knuckle curve just buckled him there, and there are two gone. That is four. The left field. So that brings up the big Joey. bat of Joey Gallo. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Maybe a little jumpy there as he swings through the fastball. Hey, this offense better be prepared to pull a trigger. This starter is known to be aggressive and come right after you. Two out base runner aboard in the top of the first. Tries to shave the corner with that pitch, but it's one and one. Has a look, now the pitch. And it pumps the fastball by him here, one and two now. Now this pitcher's feeling the flow right now. Two outs in the first inning. He's got really nice mechanics working right now and blew that fastball right by him. Counts even two and two to Joey Gallo. Swing and a miss. Blew the fastball right by him, and the inning is over. Rangers leave one, and now the Bombers will get their shot. No score. Lance Lynn, the right-hander out of Indiana, will be doing the pitching in this one. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, man, we're getting a look at a guy that's really been struggling lately. In his last three starts, he has a whip of over 1.50. Lots of base runners, lots of hits, and lots of walks, and that doesn't add up to very good performances. So he's going to look to turn things around in this one here today. Now at the plate, Miguel Andujar. He'll leave things off here in the bottom half of the first. Andujar. Here's the pitch. Hey! Fellas, this Rangers ball club, as they begin play, they come in in the midst of a stretch where they've dropped six of their last nine. Yeah, Matt, things haven't gone too well so far in this series, d -Row. They're looking to avoid the sweep here in this one. Yeah, get, they got to get off in the early innings. It's, it's going to be monumental nope. if they can push a few runs across and give this pitcher a chance to relax. Lynn has logged upwards of 1,400 innings pitched so far in his career. And in that time, he's compiled a whip under 1.3. Translation, he's better than league average in that category. And now a curveball that's low and in the dirt for a ball. It's 2-1. And he gets him to wave at that one. It's two and two. Hey, would like to see a little bit more discipline than that. You get a count in your favor and he's swinging a pitch that bad? Not good. Full count. Three and two. To be honest with you, I'm a little bit more afraid of the guy on deck than the guy that's up right now. If I'm on the mound, I want this guy up right now. He's the guy that's got to beat me. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Fastball called. Strike three. And there's the first out of the inning. Digging in, Aaron Judge. And he comes in as a player to watch out for, hitting well over 300 on the season. Pitch on the way. Back to back strikeouts in the first right here. Pitcher is setting a tone, pounding the zone. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Santana calls off the left fielder as he takes charge for the second out. Batting third. Not shortstop. 
Glaber. And that'll bring up Glaber Torres. And there's a look at his home and road splits so far this year. Lynn looks in. Here's the first pitch. Count one and oh. Bases are empty here with two men out. Two and oh now. Hey, you want to talk about being in a zone? This guy's been raking lately, and it all starts with his pitch selection. Two great takes, and he's almost daring the pitcher just go ahead and challenge him. Too high, oh, and it's three and zero. Oh. I'd be shocked if this wasn't a four-pitch walk right here. He doesn't want to mess around and leave something over the heart of the plate and get beat in this situation. Tried to hold back, but this is popped up. Andres has a play, and that retires the side. One, two, three, go the Bombers. Still no score. So striding forward now, Robinson Chirinos. The head-to-head -head with James Paxton. The pitcher's own to me is a paltry one for 11. He's also been a strikeout victim six times. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Ball and one. Here comes the 0-1. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Today's contest is, of course, the finale of the series, and the Yankees have dominated so far. They've got the opportunity to complete the sweep with a win in this one. You know, and it's not an easy thing to complete a sweep, particularly in this day and age where the games and the teams are so competitive, so a sweep at home would be extra special. So he gets him swinging on a pitcher's pitch. Robinson Chirinos goes down to become the first out here in the second inning. Into the box now, Danny Santana. He swings and hits it foul off to the right and out of play. He enters play with 14 home runs to his credit this year. The 0 1 on its way. Now a fastball here, not close, and it's 1 and 1 now. Well below the knees, laid off on the changeup there. No score here as we play inning number two. Swing and a miss, strike two. And it's three balls and two strikes to the Rangers center fielder. Full count here. Here comes the pitch. Hit hard to third. Oh, and he can't come up with it. And that's the second out. That is that. The third baseman, Todd Frazier. Here's Todd Frazier now. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. And the pitch. And a ball, 1-0. Two out, nobody on. This is foul right side. On the run, this one in on him, and he can't connect, so he finds himself down one and two now. Oh, I love that pitch right there. Up and in, jam, sandwich. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. Rangers set down in order. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score.
And digging into the batter's box next will be Giancarlo Stanton. He's, of course, a long ball threat, currently third in the American League in that category. Yeah, guys, this isn't a shocker right here. He is definitely known as one of the best pure power hitters in baseball these days. First pitch coming. Here it is. Oh, and a good effort there to knock it down. No mistake what he was sitting on, looking for a dead red piece of cheese middle of the plate, and he didn't miss it. Standing in now, Mike Talkman, as he will take a look at a fastball in there as that strike zone expands just a little. It's 0 and 1. The average coming in at 266, nine homers and 25 driven in. Here's a fastball that crowds him a bit, and it's one and one. As a look, now the pitch to one and two now. From the belt, kicks and deals. Two and two. Nobody out, runner on first. Curveball, strike three called, and he didn't like it, but there's the first out. Well, that call looked like it was a little in the pitcher's favor, but it wasn't outrageous. Hey, listen, calling balls and strikes is a really tough job, and even the best are going to miss some from time to time, especially when they're sort of borderline like that last one not sure the hitter would want to hear that though he's set and the pitch first pitch fastball in there for a cold strike Fooled pretty badly there as he reaches to poke this one foul. Looked like the curveball slipped out that time. That hook stayed up in the zone. You can see he struggled with that curveball early. He's trying to find that release point with his off speed pitches. Let to see if he can find the feel for that thing moving forward. Bottom of the second here with no score. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Fastball strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger and there are two away. That's back to back strikeouts now as they've been unable to advance that leadoff single into scoring position. Yeah, clearly no problems working out of the stretch right now, Matt. He's taking control this inning after giving up that hit. Now we'll see if he can finish it off strong as well. At the plate now, Mike Ford. As he'll watch one miss down and in for a ball, 1-0. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. Lynn comes set. Here's the 1 0. Hit high and deep to straightaway right field. Right fielder looking up at the track. The wall. Boom goes the dynamite. A two run blast to straightaway right field. Fourth home run for him on the season. And this is now a 2 0 lead for the Yankees. When you're facing an elite starter, you know runs are going to be at a premium. I don't know if this shakes the starter's confidence, but you know what it does? It certainly boosts the confidence of the guys in your lineup. Stepping in now, 
Kyle okay. Higashioka. As he'll take a look at a pitch too low. It's ball one. So the Bronx Bombers, of course, held this opposing lineup to only one run yesterday. So something like that today would give them a great chance at earning the sweep. This one isn't in the books yet, but when you're going for the sweep and you have a nice lead like they do early on here, things are looking awfully good for the sweep department. Oh, and I think that got him in the foot. Great support from his infield, though, as that's the third out. Weird way to end the inning. The Yankees get a couple on the two-run home run. We've played two. It's now 2 nothing, New York. Top of the third set to get underway. And that'll give way to the veteran second baseman, Rupnit Odor. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs. But it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. And he starts him out with a strike on the outer half. Pitcher wants to have a quick inning right here. Capitalize on the momentum his batters have. Fastball and it gets by him a swinging strike. Inside as he might be trying to set him up here one and two. Stone cold take right there. That fastball very well could have sent him packing back to the bench. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time and it's back to even now at two and two. Swing and a miss as he starts the third the same way he ended the second with a punch out one away. Striding into the box Ronald Guzman he's hitting 333 in the series two for six. Ready with the first pitch here it comes. Turned on that one and crushed it just pulled it a little foul. And he takes this one high, one and one. A two and one count to the Rangers' first baseman. Bases are empty, one man out. started to chase that time but then he wisely holds off for ball three I love the ability to hold up right there especially with count leverage I know you want to get aggressive in the strike zone but he was able to notice that that wasn't his pitch and he takes ball four so a good job out of the nine hole and getting on base as we go back to the top of the order man the pitchers wondering how he didn't get that call busted him inside on a three one count and the ump thought it was just a tad off the plate Tough to get the benefit of the doubt from the umpire when you fall behind an account like that, though. Here it comes now to Andrus. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. One and zero pitch on the way. Clearly working the bottom of the zone, trying to get a ground ball for a double play. Now the 2 0 home. Popped him up. Pagashioka waits on it, and he makes the catch for the second out. Up next for the Rangers, the right fielder, Hunter. Cole. Digging in for his second at bat, Hunter Cole. He reached on a single in his first try. Yeah, guys, still the only hit in this game so far. They've been pretty well shut down. Guys on the mound have really much controlled the whole outcome up until this point. From the stretch, back up the middle. 
And it's through for a base hit, his second of the ball game. There's a hard hit ground ball. Pitcher not able to get a glove on it. Hard single up the middle. Yeah, watch your lips right there. Dan sent it back right where it came from. Into the box, Willie Calhoun. And he'll swing and send a chopper to third. On to first, and the Rangers squander a good opportunity here as the side is retired. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and two men left on. We'll move on to the bottom of inning number three. The Yankees lead it two to nothing. Welcome back as the Yankees prepare for their third turn through the order. Fans of the Bronx Bombers have been treated to quite a bit of production from this lineup so far this year. They enter the day near the top of the league in both team batting average and runs scored. So it's safe to say they're among the cream of the crop in terms of offensive production. Talking with some of the coaches earlier, they all alluded to not only the high level of talent on this club, but also the hitters' tireless work ethic. They praised the professionalism these players bring to their craft as a major reason for their success. And they said the hard work breeds confidence when it comes time to compete in the batter's box. All right, Heidi, thank you. Cut fastball taken for strike one. And he'll look at a fastball just off the black, and it's even at one. Hit hard on the ground to second. A diving effort here as he gets a glove on it. And he'll make it to first easily on what will almost certainly be ruled an infield single. The third baseman, Miguel Andujar. And that'll bring up Miguel Andujar. High and deep to left center field. Left fielder looking up. Boom goes the dynamite. So a two-run shot to left center. 12 home runs for him now thus far. As the Yankees start to pull away a bit, it's now four to nothing. Well, in just a little more than two innings of work, he's given up two homers. Could be just one of those games for him. We'll see how much rope they give him. It's definitely getting shorter at the moment. Here's big Aaron Judge. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. The 1 0 home. A swing and a miss, strike one. Borderline pitch right there. But as a low ball hitter, you can live with that as long as the umpire doesn't give him north as well. The one two is a breaking ball that can't find the zone and it's even at two. Well I'll tell you if he wants to turn things around that pitch is one he's going to have to start locating a lot better. Swing and this is also hit well out to deep center. Boom goes the dynamite. Solo home run there for Aaron Judge. And even 30 home runs on the year. And that'll stake the Yankees to a 5-0 lead now. Wow. Nothing more demoralizing than giving up three home runs in the first three innings of a game. There's having a guy's number, and then there's absolutely owning him. This could be the latter. At the plate, oh, Torres. As he will take a fastball in there at the knees for strike one. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. A 
and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Oh, I love this, boys. Mano y mano. He's coming to get him with back-to-back -back big time heaters. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Three runs already home here. And he spoils another one off to the right here and we'll do it again still 0 and 2. Now the pitch. And it's fouled away. The next 0 2. Liner towards second. Throw on to first in time, one away. Now so one gone now in the no inning, and with that, time for a check of the standings in the American League West as you get a look there at where the Rangers stand entering play. Giancarlo Stanton now. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. In there for strike one. Stuff has never been a problem with this pitcher. It's execution and location that has always been his bugaboo. And that's exactly what happened here. I know he's ahead 0-1, but he find the heart of the plate way too often. Count now a ball and a strike. And he misses 2-1. and one. When he's pitching effectively, usually that two-seam fastball is moving quite a bit, but here it's just kind of flat and straight. Could be a big part of the reason why he's getting knocked around. Still only one out in the inning. A little early, and now it's even at two and two. Here's the pitch. And he fouls this one off. Another try at 2 2. Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. Now back. At the plate, Mike Tuckman. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Lynn looks in. First pitch on its way. Bases are empty here with two men out. A shot to first base and caught there to end the inning. So two home runs in the inning lead to three runs on the scoreboard. On now to the top of inning number four. It's the Yankees five and the Rangers nothing. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Joey Gallo. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. Owen won the count. Pitch on the way. A bouncer to the left side. Endohar fields it cleanly. And the off-balance throw beats him at first, and that's a tough play. Now Opportunity now to take a look at some of the future players in the Yankee organization as our Road to the Show report spotlights a couple of guys that have been playing well in recent action. Into the box now, Robinson Chirinos. As he lays off a fastball too low for ball one. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Now the 1 0 is taken for ball two. And this is sliced foul into the stands in right out of play. 
Now the 2 1 pitch. Strike two, swinging. Wow, what makes it so tough to be a hitter is to be able to hit and change his speeds, right? You're geared up for the fastball, and all of a sudden, he pulls the string and throws you the straight change, the dreaded equalizer. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Judge is underneath this one, and he's got it for out number two. Up next for the Rangers, the center fielder, Danny Santana. Coming to the plate now, Danny Santana. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. First pitch of the at bat on its way. One out. No runs, two hits, and no errors in the contest for the Rangers so far. Nope. Two and oh now. Santana, a native of the Dominican Republic. He's a veteran of seven years at the major league level. Outside, 3-0 and oh now. Now with the base is empty, I think he needs to be careful not to just groove one here just because it's 3-0. and oh. He's a guy that could ambush you and lose one over the wall. And the pitch. Hey. That one's in there, 3-1. and one. Got to believe he had the green light in that situation. Two outs, 3-0 count. This guy can certainly handle the bat. That's a perfect situation to let him loose. But I love the fact that he's keyholed in a certain area, and it wasn't what he was looking for. Two out, nobody on. And this one misses high for ball four, and they have themselves a two-out base runner. Well, they've been unable to get to this guy, so they'll take now base runners any the way they can get him. At the very least, you make him work from the stretch and add to his pitch total. So it's a runner at first with two gone, and standing in a power threat in Todd Frazier, the third baseman. From the belt, the pitch. A runner on first with two away. Late decision to swing that time, and as a result, it's 0-2. This is a perfect time for him to break out that nasty changeup. Great arm action on it and bury something in the dirt, try and get a swing and a miss. two once more Strike three called as he can't get the bat off his shoulders. Side retired. One left for Texas. Need to get it going soon. It's 5 nothing. Just about set to go for the last of the fourth. But before we do that, here's Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. I talked with the Yankees manager Aaron Boone during the break about the team's offensive performance so far. And flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. He said they've done a nice job of keeping their swings inside the strike zone and not chasing after pitches they can't do much with. The numbers say their chase rate in this game is under 25%. And with a bunch of runs on the board right now, that could be a big reason why. Thank you, Heidi. Bottom of the inning now, and striding forward the designated hitter, Luke Voigt. Even though they're up by a boatload early on in this one, you can't get complacent and get lazy. They got to keep the gas pedal down because this team that they're playing can strike and score a lot of runs, too. Ball one. Rounded back up the middle, fielded by a door. And the inning begins with a quick out number one. 
Now back, first baseman, Mike Ford. At the plate, Mike Ford. He went deep in his first at bat. We'll see what he's got in store for us here. And hey, it was a breaking ball to boot. This guy's a pretty good off-speed hitter. You could tell by that last at bat, he wasn't fooled at all. He sat back, waited, got the breaking ball, and didn't miss it. Hey, it's been a little bit of a rough outing. Oh, and meanwhile, this pitch rides too far in and winds up hitting him. Well, as a pitcher, you never want to hit a guy, but he's been struggling early, and the hitters have owned the inside part of the plate, so maybe this will help him reclaim the inner half and start to become more effective. Has to command it in there, though. So a runner at first with one man gone, and up to bat next, it'll be the catcher, Kyle Higashioka. He's set. Here it comes. And no swing, apparently. Ball one. Some movement now in that Texas bullpen as a left-hander starts to get cranking down there. That misses 2-0. and oh. This offense is absolutely feasting on these count leverage situations. If he's going to have any chance of feeling good about his effort tonight, this pitcher has got to get back in the strike zone. Hit high and deep out to left field. And that's into the outfield for a one-out base hit. The relay. And it's in time as he's out at third as the good relay gets him. The batter number 14. Colby Allard answers the call from the pen here in the fourth as they didn't get the outing they were hoping for from their starter. Number 39, Colby Allard. And that'll bring up Tyler Wade as he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. Five runs, six hits, and no errors for the Yankees so far. This one's down to third. And that's through into left, a base hit. And the runner at third will put the brakes on here as they didn't want to chance it even with two outs. Nice piece of hitting right there. He obviously recognized cutter away, stayed inside it, was able to drive it the other way. Here's Miguel Andujar now. In the dirt and block behind the plate. Good job to corral this quickly as the runners hold on. The 1 0 home. Nope, up there. Great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive. With two guys already on, pretty good shot. He's going to get a challenge pitch right here. Runners on first and third, two away. This is line to left. And a base hit, and that'll get the run in from third. Boy, this guy's having a great game here so far, d -Roll. Home run earlier in the night, and that base hit right there drives in his third run bat in of this game. Yeah, you drive to the park every day hoping your rhythm and timing is on point with that pitcher's windup, and that's exactly been the case today. He not only mixed in that big bond, but now he's got three ribbies to boot. First offering on its way. Nope. Aaron Judge is in with two away as he takes a ball, 1-0. Oh. From the stretch. Got to find a way to execute either a good fastball down the way or flip something off speed for a strike. 
You cannot miss over the harder plate in these situations. The hitter is on high alert. And now a called strike that time as the zone expands a bit here. It's two and one now. Three and one now. Two on, two out with the base open here as a pitcher. You have to be awful careful. You just don't want to groove something here and give this guy a pitch and he can hit one out of the park on. The three and one pitch. Rip down the line. And he tries for the backhand reach at third, but he gets by the glove down the line. And the route is officially underway. It is seven to nothing. When you're up by seven runs any time in a game, let alone this early, it feels awfully good. They are hitting on all cylinders here, but they have to be careful not to let off the gas pedal now. In now, Torres. As he'll take a look at ball one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Looking to minimize the damage here. Somebody's getting frustrated. He's not used to getting hit around like this. Three and oh now. Well, nothing can make you question yourself on that mound more than three straight balls to a guy you know that you should go right after. Sometimes you just lose the strike zone and you don't know why. He's set. Here's the 3 0. Drilled on the ground to short. And a diving effort there, but it'll come up empty. It's a base hit. And not in time as the run scores. Boy, that's an aggressive send there, Dero, because this outfielder has a very strong throwing arm. Yeah, when you're sitting in the hitter's meeting, that's stuff they go over. So every base runner is on notice, knowing that this guy's got one of the strongest arms in the league, but they challenged him, and it worked. To the plate now, Giancarlo Stanton. As the first pitch here is a bit high, it's ball one. A hit and two tries for him so far. Now the 1 0. He's taken high above the zone. This inning really feels like it's getting away from him out there. As a reliever, you can't let that happen. Nothing you can do about what's already happened, and it's only going to get worse if you're not focusing on the guy in the batter's box. Strike taken as that one catches the outer part of the plate. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. So they strike for three runs on five hits. No errors and a couple of men left on. On to the top of inning number five we go. The Yankees lead it eight to nothing. Welcome back to the Bronx as we check in with Heidi. Matt, I talked with the Rangers manager during the inning break about the team's offensive production to this point. And he told me the quality of their swings needs to improve as the game moves forward. He said they're searching for ways to drive the ball with some authority because it's just not happening for them today. They haven't gotten an extra base hit yet, so it's been a real struggle getting guys into scoring position. But the key, he said, is not to panic. Sometimes you just have to fight through the downturns and keep your focus and energy high. For the Thank you, Heidi. Here's the pitch. And a called strike down in the zone. Nothing in one. Hey, this isn't exactly the way you'd like to draw it up. Not throwing a lot of first pitch strikes, but the bottom line is he's getting outs. Oh, got him to swing out of his shoes on that one. Nothing in two. Now a fastball here that will wisely lay off, and it's one and two. Hey, that 0-2 fastball wasn't even close, but I'm hit right now. I'm still sitting on that heater. The 1-2. Oh, 
by Chris Adele. He started this guy backwards, a couple of off-speed pitches early, followed by back-to-back -back heaters. He can go either way he wants to go right now. Popped him up. And he'll stay with it here as he puts the squeeze on it for route number one. The batter, the first baseman, Ronald Guzman. Digging in, Ronald Guzman. He drew a walk his first time up. Here's the pitch. A ball of no strikes. One out, nobody on. That evens it up, one and one. Strike two taken, a fastball that clips the inside black. The one two. This is swung on and missed, so it's two up, two down to start the fifth. Good job of making him chase a pitch for the strikeout there. Yeah, now Matt, that's the advantage of getting ahead in the count. You can really force hitters to expand their zone to protect. And when they're in that mode, getting them to go after a pitch they can't do much with becomes a lot easier. Here's Elvis Andrus now. Now a swing and a deep drive to left. Stanton looking up and goodbye this one ain't coming back how about that a solo home run for Elvis Andrus number 11 for him on the season and they're now on the board though still well behind balls jumping in this one that's the fourth to leave the yard so far Matty V, this is kind of a mini home run derby deal. A ball flying out of the ballpark today. Just great approaches by both lineups today. We were around the cage now, during batting practice. Both were super okay. confident, and it's coming to fruition today. Strike one to start the at bat. The wind up and the 0 1. Ball. At strike two on a well-placed changeup around the knees. Great job on those last two pitches of varying speeds. Gave him a hard fastball, and then he locked him up with a changeup. And he lays off it to even the count two and two. Struck him out, his eighth punch out of the ball game, and that one ends the inning. One in the inning, and it comes from a rather unlikely power source. Bottom of the fifth coming up. It's the Yankees' eight, and the Rangers' one. Set now for the bottom of the fifth, and next it'll be the outfielder, Mike Talkman. The center fielder, Mike the pitch and he gets ahead 0 and 1 a bouncer up the middle and that's a base hit so the pressure's on to open up the inning the bat the designated hitter Luke. At the plate now, Luke Voigt, as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. He's 0 for 2 in the ball game so far. Now the 1 0 is laid off for ball two. Well, that's another great hitting count here on 2 and 0. 
it's no wonder why they're up seven. Down low, and the plot thickens here. Three and zero. Oh. This inning hasn't started ideally for him on the mound, but here on three and zero, oh, you have to have the mentality that you're only a strike and or a ground ball double play away from getting back on track. From the belt, kicks and deals. Lifted down the line in left. And that will end up a foul ball. A runner at first with no outs here. Line hard to the left side. Foul. Now the three and two pitch. Full count still. Hey, three foul balls in a row right here, searching for that put away stuff. And that misses for ball four. And it's first and second now with nobody out. Wow, all I know is these guys don't need now any bad. more help first to get on base. Down. Believe it or not, that's the first walk they've oh. gotten. They've done all their damage the hard way. See if they can add to it here. Digging in now for the Yankees, Mike Ford. Last time up, he was hit by a pitch. Yeah, Matty, you're not lying. Last time up, squared right in the back. Hopefully it doesn't stiffen up. I want to see if he can get through something right here. And a fastball close, but ultimately ruled a ball, 1-0. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Santana is right there, one down. Now batting, catcher, Kyle Higashioka. Digging in and looking for more, Kyle Higashioka. One for two in the ball game thus far. First pitch of the at bat on its way. No balls and a strike to count. Runners are at first and second with one away. Another one fouled off and he's quickly behind 0 and 2. Nothing in two count and the pitch. One ball, two strikes. Yeah. Still one and two. He got a mistake right there, but missed it. Can't foul that pitch off in a big spot. 0 2 count. Heater caught too much of the zone. Here he comes again. 1 2. Swung on and hit in the air down the left field line. And that's going to fall for a base hit. Now a long throw to third. But too late, and he's safe at third. Tyler. Way. Luis Garcia gets the call to pitch here, and he'll try to sort this mess out. He's going to try to at least eat a couple of innings for his guys. Garcia. So now to the plate, Tyler Wade, as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Two hits and two trips for him thus far. Comes set with the 0 and 1. At the ball. Garcia has tossed over 30 innings so far this season, and over those innings, he's worked to a whip of just a little over 1.3, so he's a reliable arm in terms of limiting traffic on the base paths. And he lays off the pitch down and away. Ball two. Garcia, the former Angel, he signed as a free agent with this organization earlier in the season. Yeah, he didn't have an opportunity to really get acclimated to this ball club. Showing up during the season is not always easy, opening the doors to a big league clubhouse and trying to get to know your teammates. The best way to get to know them is to go out and produce.
A bullet to first base. Now back, the third baseman, Miguel Andujar. So back to the top of the Yankee order. Digging in, Miguel Andujar. And their runners at the corners now. He's ready. Here's the first offering. No balls in one strike. Runners at the corners, two men out. Hard hit ball to second. Throw to second for the force out, and the side is retired. A run on two hits for the Yankees. We're through five here at the ballpark. It's the Yankees nine and the Rangers one. Next will be the designated hitter, Willie Calhoun. And through five turns at bat, they've only mustered a total of three hits. Not terrible, but they're certainly not firing on all cylinders. Well, it's getting a little bit too late in this game, but this continues like this. In today's game, with so many dominant bullpen arms, you certainly don't want to wait until the eighth or ninth to try to wake the bats up. Here comes the first pitch. Fouled off. And he misses with it one and one. Very impressive outing so far. His command has been spot on. Even when he misses his spot, it isn't out over the heart of the plate. He's throwing quality pitches. A one one. And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. Center fielder going back. Still ranging back. Out of here to the deepest part of the yard. So it's a solo shot to dead center. Home run number 16 for him on the year, but they still face a seven run deficit. Man, you could see the center fielder tracking the ball the entire way. He thought he had it, and he might tell you he should have had it, but he just couldn't bring it back into the yard. Sometimes it's a game of inches, folks. Here's Joey Gallo now. As he looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. 0 for 2 for him to this point. The 1 0 home is laid off, but in there for strike one. And this one's up around the eyes, two and one. Hey, if you're going to throw a pitch like that to this guy, that's right where you want to miss. Any lower, and he'll probably make you pay for it. And he missed again, high and away this time, three and one. Looks like that bomb earlier in the inning kind of put this pitcher on the defensive, not being very aggressive right now. Base is empty here with nobody out. He loses him on ball four. And don't forget, he gave up a long ball earlier in this inning, so you can understand why he wasn't too aggressive with him there. When he got him to three and one, he wasn't too anxious to challenge him. Ready for another shot now. Robinson Chirinos. He flew out in his last at bat. From the stretch, here's the pitch. High in the air and deep to straightaway left. Back goes Stanton. Still going back. And this one is gone. A home run. It's a two-run shot to straightaway left. Home run number 16 for him on the year. As they try to claw back, it's a five-run deficit. That's dinger number six on the day between these two lineups. I feel like I'm watching home run derby here, guys. 
Dan, they're absolutely not going to cover off the ball. I'm curious to get your take on this. I didn't find it to be the truth. I didn't mind hitting at night. But a lot of guys say they see the ball better during the day. You know what's funny, D. Rowe, is, is I preferred to pitch in night games as opposed to day games. I always thought it was advantage to the hitter, and so far that looks like it's the case in this one right here. They must be seeing the ball really well because they're, they're just absolutely smoking the baseball right now. Zach Britton takes over on the mound here with nobody out in the sixth inning. Number 53, Zach Britton. Now that is the center fielder, Danny. Into the box, Danny Santana. Just able to get a piece of that for strike one. It was a walk in his last trip. Now the 0-1. Here's a fly ball well hit. Center fielder on the run. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. The batter, the third baseman, Todd Springer. Digging in to try it again, Todd Frazier. He's hoping to avoid the hat trick. He struck out in each of his first two plate appearances so far. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Laid off, but a cold strike as that caught the outside. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right handers starting to loosen up. Bases are empty, one man out. Popped him up. Torres backs up and takes care of it, two away. The batter, the second baseman, Ruth Ned Odor. Here's Rognet Odor now. In his last at bat, he popped out in foul ground. Yeah, he's got to make an adjustment. You could tell this guy's been struggling with the bat in his hands. He's got a lot of frustration. He's gripping the bat too tight. He needs to relax, take a deep breath, and have a productive A.B. right here. Here's the 0-1 pitch. Try and tempt him with one of the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's one and two. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. Bases are empty here with two men out. Neither guy willing to give in, and the at bat will continue. Another one two delivery. Hey, this guy's a hard guy to put away. He's fouling off some tough pitches. Two two count. He just seems to keep hanging right in there. And now, pitch on the way. Fouled away. Here now, the two two. Seared down the first baseline, and that finds its way through for a base hit. 
Hey, not an easy thing to do right there, Debra, with that the stacked infield on the right side. To hit it through where the shift is, have to hit that in the right place at the right time. Yeah, he found a good result right there, Dan. Pitcher actually executed right there. Got him to hit it where he wanted to. Put good barrel, good contact on that ball, and was able to find the hole. Stepping in now, Ronald Guzman. And he'll take a look at a slider here that misses for ball one. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. A ball and no strikes. Here it is. Uh, had him lunging at that pitch away, and it's one and one now. I mean, that's a classic case of coming off your backside right there. He lost his entire back leg, was out in front, couldn't keep his hands back. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And that's going to wind up hooking just a bit foul. So a missed opportunity there. The one two misses for the second ball. Two out with the man at first. Good eye to lay off the slider there, and he works it to full three and two here. Three, two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. And he'll be back in standing up. And he strikes him out here, so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as the side is retired. So three runs on three hits, no errors, and a man left. Two, three, and four do up in the home half of the sixth. The Yankees lead this one nine to four. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Aaron Judge. He homered earlier and is two for three to this point. Aaron. He's ready. Here's the first offering. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Boom goes the dynamite. So a solo shot here to left center field. His second of the game as it's now a six run ball game. Well, if you're just joining us, that's the seventh home run hit so far in this game. Really unbelievable stuff. Yeah, hey, Matty V, this big ballpark in the Bronx has that short porch in right field, d -row. But you can hit the ball out of just about any part of this ballpark. Yeah, this place plays sneaky small. I know it's got big gaps, but right field is so juicy. As a right-handed hitter, you don't feel like you have to cheat. Not surprised by what we saw today. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. Ready with the 0-1. Behind 0-2 now. Nothing in two count and the pitch. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. Every pitcher gives up home runs, some more than others. Now but the best ones forget about them as soon as the next guy digs into the batter's box. He showed me a lot right there by going after the next hitter and striking him out on only three pitches. Into the box now, Giancarlo Stanton. As the first pitch to him is taken low and away for ball one. He's working on a one for three thus far. Here it comes, 1-0. Oh. Good opposite field power here, taken high and deep to right. A ball that's carrying. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Now batter, the center fielder, Mike. Into the box now, Mike Talkman. 
He scored after reaching on a single in his last time up. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Two out, nobody on. And that misses downstairs for a ball, one and one. Hit out towards second. Throw on to Guzman at first, and the inning is over. Yanks able to add on one more via the solo home run. Top of the order due up to start the seventh, and this is now a 10-4 ball game. Jonathan Holder is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 56, Jonathan Holder. So Elvis Andres the next to bat. It was a solo shot for him in his last at bat. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. And that's waved at and missed for strike one. And here's a pitch high and tight for a ball, one and one. Ball and two strikes to the Rangers shortstop. The one two. Swing and a ground ball to third. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Fastball well outside. This is a fun guy to watch when he's up there. Really battles. Doesn't take any pitches off. He's a grinder. Always seems to make it difficult on the opposing pitcher. Got him. Now batter. Now at the plate, Hunter Cole. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Ball, righty one. against righty as this is taken for a ball. It's 1 and 0. Now here's the pitch. Yeah. A ball and a strike. One out, nobody on. A ball and two One strikes ball. now. Two strikes. Still one and two as he fouls it away. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back-to-back -back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. No problems for him on the mound since he's come out of the pen to start this inning. That's back-to-back -back K's, and he's making it look pretty easy. This has the makings of a good outing so far. In now, Willie Calhoun. As he'll take a look at a slider that can't make it back to the corner. It's ball one. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. The 1 0 home. Bases are empty here with two men out. Off speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. Those were two great executed pitches right there away from this batter. He can hurt you in a heartbeat. I don't think anything's going to leak out over the heart of the plate. The 2 1. Two ball, two strikes. A full count, three balls and two strikes. Looked like he tried to elevate a fastball on that 2-2 pitch there, but 
kind of overdid it. With a pitch that high, it's pretty easy to lay off if you're the hitter. He takes the turn and heads for second. And now that'll hop over the wall. So he'll be at second here with two away on a ground rule double. Just a great approach at the plate right there. Takes that pitch on the outer half and goes with it. He clearly hit it well because it bounced right over the wall for a ground rule double. Standing in now, Joey Gallo. This will take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. Oh, one count. Here's the pitch. Tough spot to hit here as a hitter. You have a base open, so you have to almost be trying to think like the pitcher. Is he going to try to pitch around me, or is he going to come in the strike zone? And he falls behind him here as that pitch misses. It's 2-1 and one now to the Texas left fielder. A shot down the first baseline. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Danger averted following the two-out double. More to come on the show Sunday Baseball after this. Riding forward now is the DH, Luke Voigt. He'll start things out here in the bottom of inning number seven. Here comes the first pitch. Hey, even though this guy's a righty hitter, he's going to get pounded with that two-seamer. He needs to make sure he catches this thing out front if he sees that pitch again. A fastball for a called strike. It's one and one. One of the best ways to keep a guy uncomfortable is to pound him inside. They're doing that, and this one caught the zone. The one one. It's a fastball that misses. Just off the inside part of the plate, it's three and one. Mike Ford waits on deck. And that misses ball four. It's a leadoff walk to start the home seventh. Now back, first base thing. Mike. Digging in, Mike Ford. Perhaps he can drive another one out of the park just like he did back in the second. He's set and the pitch. Slider gets the outside. That's a strike. Swing and a miss on the slider and he's quickly behind nothing in two. So back-to-back -back sliders for strikes. Does he come back with yet another? Hey, that's back-to-back -back really good sliders. I wouldn't be surprised if he threw another one right here. Looks like he's got that slide ball in his back pocket right now. Swung on and missed. Really fooled him that time for the first out. Got him with a good high fastball there. Danny, we see a lot of that pitch now in strikeout situations the these days. What makes it so effective? I think, Matt, what makes it such a tough pitch is you're changing eye levels. That fastball up looks so enticing to hit that you think you see that ball as a hitter do you think you can drive it but it's really hard to get on top of that good high hard fastball fastball taken but that gets the zone for a strike so far two for three in this one and there's ball one not a surprise to see that low splitter there. Anything with downward movement like that is going to be at the top of the list in a double play situation. One and two to the Yankees catcher.
And a good pitch here, but this is taken for a ball as the count moves to two and two now on the Yankee catcher. Has a look, now the pitch. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there, two away. Well, that's just a quality pitch right there. The location was Go excellent back. because if it's put in play, base, there's a good chance it's on the ground for a double play. And hey, a strikeout always works too. At the plate now, Tyler Wade. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. The Yanks leave one. They're up comfortably, however. It's 10 to 4. Ready to begin the eighth, and that'll bring up the catcher, Robinson Chirinos. The last at bat, Matty V, we heard this guy's a good fastball hitter. He got a fastball and didn't miss it. We'll see if they pitch him a little bit differently this time and mix in some off speed pitches. And it's fouled away. A wind up and the 0 1. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at one and one. As mentioned early in the broadcast, this series finale had the potential to result in a series sweep. And at this point in the game, it's looking rather promising. Hey, Matty V, Yogi Berra had a great saying, it ain't over till it's over. Well, this one's just about over with the team playing as well as they are and leading by as much as they are. This one is pretty much in the books. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. Well, this has been a bullpen game for some time now, but let's go back and review the performances of the two starters, neither of whom turned in an outing to remember. Digging in the switch hitter, Danny Santana. No hits to this point. First pitch on its way. Bottom part of the zone, a good changeup gets the call. And even sweeter, of course, is getting that series sweep in your own ballpark in front of the home faithful. So we'll see if they can send these fans home happy. No doubt about it. Fan base is excited. They are all out in full force, coming to the ballpark, hoping to witness a sweep. And it looks pretty good at this point. From the windup, the 1-1 pitch. Ground ball sent back up the middle and into center field as he's aboard with a one out single. Love the ability to push that ball the other way right there. Yeah, nice that. knock to the opposite the field. field. That's a switch hitter's oh. delight, the ability to use all parts. To the plate now, Todd Frazier. Oh. As he'll watch one miss down and in for a ball, 1-0. Oh, oh. As we near the end of this one, I think it's safe to say that the story of the game has undoubtedly been the long ball. Guys, what do you think about what we've witnessed? Well, as a former offensive player, I absolutely love it. Kudos to both lineups for doing absolute damage today. One of the most fun watches of the year. You know, D-Roll, what this shows me is this new age way of guys going up there and they're swinging. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. Nothing doing for the Rangers. And that's not what they needed down 10-4. to four. Jesse Chavez comes on to pitch now, hoping for better results than the other arms that they've run out there in this one. Ready to go for the last half of the inning and striding into the plate, it'll be Miguel Andujar. First offering on its way. And he'll try to crowd him there to start the at-bat. It's 1-0. When you've got a guy that throws a good two-seam fastball, you have to be ready for him to try to run it inside and jam you. Good job to lay off that one, but I wouldn't be surprised if we see it again. Can't get around quick enough, and that'll move the count to one and one. Now here's the pitch. Chavez has tossed more than 60 innings on the year and has an ERA he'd like to see come down a bit. Starts the day in the high fours.
can't connect there. It's two and two. Ooh, that was ugly. Howdy, if you're waving at me. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. Aaron Judge waits on deck. Now the three and two pitch. Count remains full. Count still full, three and two. Neither guy given in. Here's the next one. There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Boom goes the dynamite. A solo shot here to left. His second home run of the game as this is now a seven run ball game. Aaron Judge. Right-hander against right-hander as this is a ball 1-0. Two home runs already to his name in this one and we'll see if he could possibly strike again. The 1-0 home. Is swung on and missed. Strike one. And now a left-hander will start to get ready in the bullpen. Here it comes on one and one. Rolled slowly down the third baseline, but a foul ball. One and two the count now. Here's the pitch. Too much bite on the breaking ball that time as it's well off the outside. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first down. The Coming to the plate now, Torres. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, and he didn't put up much of a fight either, Matty. Got to find a way. Can't go down three pitches. I don't care if you're staring at him or swinging at him. You have to find a way to make this pitcher work a little bit harder. Cold strike at the knees, one and one. Bases are empty, one man out. Sharp ground ball to third. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. In time to first, and there are two away. Well, if you're going to bobble a ball, you have to hope it's when a guy is lumbering down the base pass. He's no speedster, so that was a good job to stay calm and make the recovery throw. So here's the cleanup hitter, Giancarlo Stanton. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last A.B. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this A.B. Strike one to start the at-bat. The wind-up and the 0-1. Nope. And he lays off for ball one. Two out, nobody on. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike.
Now the 2 1. Misses above the zone for a ball. Mike Tuckman would be next if they can keep this inning alive. Called strike two, and now it's full three and two. A pretty aggressive pitch right there up in the zone. Surprised he didn't offer at it. Bases are empty here with two men out. No offer from Stanton. It's ball four, so he'll head down to first. Well, the reason power hitters generally draw more walks than other guys is exactly what we saw right there. Pitchers work around them and nibble the corners a lot more so they don't get burned. He made some good pitches, but he just couldn't get him to chase enough out of the zone. Settling in now, Mike Talkman. He was a ground out victim last time up. From the stretch. Ball one. Count one and oh. Now the 1 0. A runner on first with two away. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. The one two out in front as this is pulled foul into the seats. Swung on and missed and that's the final out of the inning. So one run on one hit no errors and a runner left. We played eight full. The Yankees lead it 11 to four. Tommy Kingley comes on from the pen hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. Number 48. Tommy Kingley. So here's the left-handed bat of Ruth Nidodor starting things for his side in the ninth as they face the improbable odds of trying to come back in this one. Yeah, not a lot of hope for them at this point. But these guys know these bats still count. At least for their own stats, you can't mill in your chances as a professional. First pitch on its way. Here we go with inning number nine as the first pitch misses for ball one. Starts to go around, but the home plate umpire says he held up ball two. Now the 2 0 -oh. is looked at for the first strike. Hey, this guy's got an 89 mile an hour changeup. There was a time when 89 was a pretty good fastball. To 2 and 2 now. I think it's about time to choke up on that bat and get that foot down. He's awfully tardy right now. A full count for Odor, three balls and two strikes. It's been a great job so far by the eight hole hitter. If he finds a way to get on base, this could spell for a huge inning. The 3-2 pitch. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Talk about blowing it by a guy. Geez, I mean, that fastball was way now behind that. him when the swing the came pitch. through the zone. I have to oh, think he was looking for something oh. off speed, and he just couldn't pull the trigger on that fastball. Into the box, Ronald Guzman. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. He's set. Here's the 0 1. Big swing and a miss at the fastball, and he's behind in the count 0 and 2. That's just too much velocity upstairs to get good wood on it. It's going to have to lower his sights. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive.
struck him out. Struck him out again, I should say. His third punch out of the game. Man, I love watching a pitcher that just rears back and blows smoke by a guy at the letters. That's the ultimate challenge pitch. And for me personally, watching hitters swing and miss, man, that's a sight of beauty. At the plate, Elvis Andrews. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. That's Two and oh. Now a swing and a ground ball. This should do it. Fielded cleanly. Throw on to first. And the Yankees finish the job and complete the series sweep of their rivals at home. Man, I don't care who you roll out there against these guys. That's 10 wins in a row for them. So they feel like they could beat anybody in the league right now. And they're making it look awfully easy, too. 11-4 at the end of this affair. The Yankees took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. James Paxton with his fourth win this season. Lance Lynn permitted six earned runs to come across in the losing effort. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vasquez, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com.